This is Power Up, where groundbreaking wind energy ideas become your clean energy future. Here's your hosts, Alan Hall and Phil Totaro. Well, Phil, our first patent of the week is a clever portable device for managing industrial ropes used in wind turbine maintenance. Now, the, the key to this innovation is a rope driver system that combines mechanical and electrical components to safely control heavy-duty ropes, and we know those can be kind of a pain to deal with. This device features a rope storage container with a hardened lower portion and a flexible top portion, along with a motorized driver mechanism that can both lift and lower ropes. Now think of it as a sophisticated winch system that not only moves the rope, but stores it properly too. Seems like a lot of good uses for this idea, Phil. Yeah, and when you consider that regardless of remote inspection technology, you know, we still do end up dangling a, a lot of, uh, you know, service techs off ropes uh, in, in this industry. So um, this is actually something that comes from uh, seemingly independent inventors with no corporate affiliation. Um, and, you know, it's there's a lot of patents like that um, that are usually just kind of crackpot things that is, is something that's never going to be adopted by the industry. This is something I hope they can find a way to commercialize or, you know, find um, uh, somebody that is interested in licensing uh, this or acquiring the, the patent, um, because this is actually, uh, besides being kind of a, a clever and unique idea, I think this would actually come in handy in a lot of sites, because if you have multiple techs um, working on a blade repair up tower, um, you can get, you know, crossed ropes, you can, you know, and it creates a safety issue. So having proper storage, um, you know, really does... Uh, come in handy and, and enhances safety of, of up tower workers. Our next idea comes from Total Energy's One Tech, and it is a patent that tackles one of the biggest challenges in offshore wind how to securely anchor wind turbines to the seabed. Now, the invention introduces an innovative monopile foundation design that's specifically engineered for offshore wind turbines, and the key feature is a specialized lower end structure with an inner and outer tubes connected by wing plates that create compartments. So think of it as a hybrid between a traditional monopile and a suction bucket foundation. Now, what makes this design special is how it handles both the vertical and horizontal forces from the turbine. And Phil, we all know uh, trying to attach the C4 is really complicated and Total Energies has been out in the forefront of this for a number of years. This patent is just one of those ideas from Total. Yeah, and and like we've been talking about on Power Up over the past few weeks, the reason I wanted to to key in on this one today was besides being this clever combination of um, kind of a, as you said, either a suction bucket or a jacket type approach um, and a monopile, um, which again you would you would not necessarily use this everywhere, but this is something that would come in. Um, for potentially sites in France um, where they're looking to deploy um, and other project sites around the world where Total is involved, um, where you might have you know, site-specific soil conditions that necessitate um, some kind of structural reinforcement like this. Um, so it's a, it's a very interesting idea from that perspective. Um, but again, it's also the fact that a, a company that is not necessarily involved in the supply chain is developing IP around hardware. Total's never going to go have uh, somebody build this for them specifically. They might contract manufacture um, these types of things, but in doing so, they're leveraging IP that they've uh, captured and that they own and control uh, to the benefit of being able to, you know, potentially get a discount on these these foundations, um, because the offset, the royalty that they receive for licensing the design IP offsets some of the cost that they would otherwise pay for, you know, purchasing these these fabricated units. Our fun patent of the week comes from a couple. It looks like maybe a married couple, and it is a patent that describes a personal sound muffler device that let users. Vent their frustrations without disturbing others. And the device is essentially a, a foam-lined muffler that fits over the mouth and includes integrated electronics to measure just how loud you are yelling. And the first thing I think about here, Phil, is Seinfeld in the Serenity Now episode. 
<laughs> where they say you're not supposed to scream that. And <laughs> this is a device which is supposed to limit the amount of noise coming out if you're really upset, I guess, and just scream into this tube. I mean, I you know, we've had some really goofy things on power up um since we started doing this and this this has to be on the the end of the spectrum that i find rather absurd uh besides you know just the the practical application of it it's just i mean i'm sure it's one of these things like if they if they ever like really designed this and put it into like the you know uh, sharper image or hammock or schlemmer catalog somebody might buy that sort of thing, but this is never really gonna, I don't know. I, I think if people need to yell, then maybe just go outside or something. I mean, save yourself the $180 that I'm sure they would try to charge you for a device like this. Oh, yeah, as your favorite NFL team loses in the playoffs, I could see a lot of these devices being used, actually. Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, maybe that's that's what it is. Or, you know, it, it could also be like if you're if you're at work in your office or something and, you know, you, you get a little upset, maybe you just go shout into this thing and nobody, nobody is, is any the wiser. Well, Phil, you have seen those little quiet cubes uh, at work centers. Some of them have been turned into screen rooms or they actually can go in and scream and yell. So <laughs> this device, although this device is a much simpler device, it's been expanded now into room size instead of just mouth size. 